Hey guys, Eli here, and on today's video, I want to go over my 17,000 gold and silver portfolio plus my 49,000 stock portfolio. And boy, has it been a week. And let's start now. Guys, thank you so much for watching another video from Urban Lifestyle. If this is your first time here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification icon so you guys get future notifications of my future videos. And also make sure you guys hit the thumbs up. It really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. And make sure you guys comment something down in the comments below. If you guys want to join the Urban Wealth Creation Discord alongside checking out some of the free resources that we have, and also considering becoming a member to the Urban Lifestyle YouTube channel, make sure you guys check down in the description below. So let's go over the price of precious metals, the prices of the market, and what happened within the past week. So I actually made a members only video where all the members on my channel can actually see every move that I make within the stock market and all the positions that I have. So that's for members only. Now, the reason I don't like to do that out here and out in the open is because I don't want the video to be, oh man, you shouldn't get this stock. Oh, this stock is mad. This stock is, mad. I'm not into that. I just want to show you guys some of my, um, some of my portfolios. And at the same time, give you guys a little bit of mindset on what I'm doing. So I release my portfolio reviews each and every Mondays for the members and what you're viewing right now. So let's go into it. So gold right now, the price of gold is $1,787.70. The price of silver is $22.70. Platinum is 990, well, I'm sorry, $962, and Palladium is $2,292. Now, this past week, we had like a major pullback, especially for the gold and silver, where um, I think silver fell down like $3, and gold is down like close to $100. And a lot of people was like worried, hey, what's going on? Is it going to go down a little bit more? And the mindset behind that is, man, you should, you should be rejoicing. A lot of people took hits but you should be really rejoicing right now. I mean, come on, like this is some great stuff right here. Like being able to buy silver cheaper. Now, if you're new to stacking precious metals and you started buying around the high periods, then yeah, you should be rejoicing. But for someone who's a little bit seasoned in this, um, we're used to actually buying silver way lower, way below $20. So it depends on what kind of perspective you have. But the way I like to look at it is in the future, I already know inflation is going to eat up the dollar. And in the future, it's going to take more dollars to actually buy one ounce of silver or gold. It's going to be more dollars because the value of the dollar that we have today will be devalued. So ultimately speaking, I do believe that the price of silver and gold is going to be way above the price that it is today. But it's still good to get a little bit of a discount in the short term speaking, of course. So I don't have any screenshots of my portfolio because I actually switched phones and I forgot to transfer the information from that phone to this phone. But I do know last week I, when I showed it, it was like about um, 18,000, like a little bit like on the in the beginnings of 18,000. Now, the fact that gold and silver did fall down, I'm pretty sure is at the 17,000s right now. But I did place an order today. Well, not today. I did place an order this week, and I actually added it to my um, to my portfolio. I did get a 2021 Great Britain two ounce silver Queen's Beast, and I also got a one kilo bar. So if you add this to the stack, I'm pretty sure that should bring it over 18. And to be honest with you, I'm just gonna keep on buying as much as I possibly can. The more it goes down, I'm gonna keep on buying. I've said this story plenty of times. When I first start buying silver, like about three years ago, it was at 18 dollars, and I seen it go down to 17. I bought at 18, went down to 17, I kept buying, 16 kept buying, 15 kept buying, 14 kept buying, all the way down to $11, I kept buying. Now, of course, hindsight is 2020, so I'm always happy that I did buy. But I also believe that one day in the future, I'm gonna look back at myself and the decisions that I'm making now and be like, oh my gosh, thank God I did. So that's as far as my gold and silver portfolio. Now, if we take a look at my stock market portfolio, we've seen within the past week, the S&P 500 currently right now is um, about 3,638 points and the Dow Jones is actually at 29, well, yeah, 29,910 points and the NASDAQ is at 12,000, a little bit over 12,000 points. Now, the Dow Jones actually hit 30,000 with in the past week. Now it's actually down now, but it actually hit a milestone of hitting 30,000. So that's good. Now we all know everything in the markets right now, we have the vaccine thing coming out. Um, everybody's a little bit more hopeful. A lot of people is spending money into the stocks right now, which can lead to people taking money out of gold and silver. Like if you put it this way, when everything was going on, nobody was all the uncertainty around the pandemic that was happening. A lot of people went to gold and silver because they know they know you know it's a great way to protect themselves okay 
Now, everything is looking good. Stock is just going up. We have a vaccine news. Now we have a little bit more clarity of what possibly can happen. And a lot of people seeing markets are going up and they're like, hey, you know what? Hey, cool. I made some profits off gold and silver. Let me just swipe that out and go put it into the stock market. Okay. Now, now that I gave my two cents on that, let's see how did my portfolio do within the past week. So currently in my portfolio, I think last week I was about 43,000. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I can't remember the video that I did a week ago. Wow. So it was about 43,000 and right now it stands at $49,901.26. Now, like I said, you see some of the positions I have here. I do black it out. All the members can actually see all the positions I have. But for people like the main channel, I don't want to just make the whole focus on which stocks I'm buying. All right. And I don't want people to be like, oh, he's doing this. So I'm going to focus on doing that as well and not really doing that much research. So I had a great week this week. I actually have two stocks that actually yielded back over 100 percent return. So I'm happy about that. And these stocks, I really did some research on and um, I did buy some stocks this past week and I also sold some and got some profit. And the funny thing is, is when I sold this stock in my portfolio, it's pretty much the one that has the most gains. Let me just double check. Uh, well, the second most gain is the stock that got the second most gain, which is this one right here at 104.95% returns. And that stock was actually outgrowing every stock in my portfolio. So I decided to sell down a little bit of that just so I can keep a, a well-balanced portfolio. Okay. So you guys seen that. So I did take some profit. I took about... Um, I think it was about $1,300 profit and I allocated the money somewhere else. But the funny thing is I was actually talking to people about it. I was like, hey, one day I take $1,000 profit and then the next day is like, it's all back. I made $2,000 profit the next day, you know? So that's just me. I want to keep my portfolio well well adjusted like i don't want to have one stock that just over exaggerates the whole portfolio because if if um in that that's easily that, that can easily be done too like you buy a stock where it's probably just 10 percent of your portfolio and through time you actually see it become like 40 50 percent of the portfolio and then what happens is if that stock takes a huge dive then your whole entire value of the whole market of of all the stocks that you do have takes a huge hit so i gained some profits um the stock i did i, I did have a feeling that it was going to double and it technically did well it more than doubled but i'm going to keep on holding on to it and now, like i said this is just one account that i do have this is not including my other accounts that i do have my retirement accounts and all my options accounts this is just what I'm like publicly showing. All right. To members as well. I know you guys like, but you're not publicly showing it here. You're just showing us a dollar amount. And that's what I'm comfortable showing. Okay. So now a couple of things I do want to mention is within the past, I think I, this is my fifth episode of me actually doing this. And I've seen it grow from, I think the first episode I did, it was like about 35 actually if you want to go way back um in the beginning like probably six months ago it was around 28 i want to say 28 and i seen it grow from 28 to 30 from 30 to 40 and soon who knows possibly fifty thousand dollars but the whole thing is i don't want to get to a point where i'm expecting these kind of gains all right i i don't want to get to the point where hey yeah you know what I made a thousand last week. I made ten thousand last week. Let me go for fifteen thousand this week. No, this week I could probably make a thousand, or I can lose five thousand, or maybe lose all that gains that I got last week. All right. So that's the the mindset I'm in. I'm just putting myself in the best positions. And to be honest with you, I would like it to go down because there's some positions that I have that I didn't fully built out yet. Some some companies that I bought and it just took off as soon as I bought it. I actually have like four of those stocks and some of them it was more but some of them actually did go down and it went um, below my dollar cost average and i decided hey let me buy some more it's time for me to build some positions so i do have some positions that i do have built up here but there's some that i i feel like hey i just wanted to go down below the price i actually bought it in so i can buy up some more and it, th th that's the whole thing is um as far as even when it comes to me buying precious metals like i said i bought at 18 dollars and i bought at 17 dollars and i bought at 16 and i'm looking back at myself and i'm like thank god i bought it around those prices okay so that that's my whole mindset so right now i'm not too sh i'm not really going to be buying unless i see a huge dip or there's some great opportunities out there 
my whole focus is not buying stocks. My whole focus is on buying precious metals, such as gold and silver, take advantage of those dips and stacking up on cash just in case we see a weaker market. All right, everything just looks euphoric. Everybody's making money. And to be honest with you, this reminds a lot. This reminds me a lot of August, what happened in August. We saw tech, all the tech bubbles just going all high and everything was like, everybody was making money like, yay, yay, yay. And then we saw what happened next. It went down and down and down. And I had to experience that as well. And I was happy about it. I was happy about it. And this week, I was like, okay, cool. Stocks market's going up, but oh snap, look, precious metals going down. Okay. So that's my whole philosophy because I know it's long term for me. I'm not looking at the short term. Once I build a position out, a comfortable size position that I feel comfortable with, then I'd be like, yeah, yeah, look at that. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. But normally when um when I have positions and they just take off 20, 30, 50, 100 percent, I'm like, God dang it, man. I thought it was gonna go back down and I was gonna build up a little bit more positions. All right. So that's pretty much it. I just want to get I don't want to get too comfortable. I don't want to expect gains. I'm not saying this year was a totally different year. Um, great opportunities. Uh, but I'm not saying the same thing is going to happen next year. I mean, I, I may not. I may be at forty nine thousand or in the forty uh, in the forty thousands for a while. I'm not expecting hey man. In two weeks from now, I'm going to have sixty thousand to show. I mean, it'll be good to show. It'll be good, you know, but. To be honest with you, I much rather have it lower so I can dip in more. Cause hey, I ultimately believe the companies that I do buy is gonna go up within the next three to five years. And that's how long I plan on holding them. I'm not looking at some quick profits and things like that. Unless I wanna unless I wanna balance out my portfolio. I'm not looking to get some quick profits or anything like that. Right? So yeah, I don't want to feel euphoric. I'm just stacking up on cash and I'm focusing on precious metals. All right, that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. Guys, make sure if you guys liked this video, make sure you guys leave that thumbs up. It really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. I already said that already, right? Yeah, I did. But make sure you guys hit that notification icon so you guys get future notifications of my future videos. Thank you so much for watching. And make sure you guys check down the description below to take advantage of some awesome free resources. Have a good day. Oh.